Hey Outly Crew, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we'll dive into the terrain layer, which is now available on both the website and the mobile app. Understanding the terrain in an area can make or break your outdoor experience. How steep is the trail? How rugged is the surrounding terrain? What's my best path if I'm hiking off trail in rugged terrain? Where are those cliffed out treacherous areas that I should avoid? I've had numerous people tell me, hey Brett, I can't read a topo map. Well, I'm here to tell you with a bit of practice and having the Outly app in your hand to compare the map to the physical land features that your eyes are seeing out there, you'll be decoding the topo map like a pro in no time. Plus, with high resolution satellite imagery, you get a bird's eye view of the land cover to determine if areas are grassy, rocky, or densely forested before your boots even hit the ground. The terrain layer is available on the website map as well, but for this tutorial, we'll focus on the app. As part of the terrain layer, there's topo contours and terrain slope, which can each be toggled and layered on top of either the map or the SAP base maps. The layer covers the full US, including Hawaii and most of Alaska. And even better, any offline map regions you download in the app will automatically include the terrain layer for toggling when you're out in the field without any cell service. So here are some tips to get started. Topo contours are traditional elevation contour lines from USGS quadrangle maps. Each line is labeled with its elevation in feet. If you were to walk and trace one of those lines in mountainous terrain, you might go across ridges and through basins, but you would stay at the same elevation. You wouldn't go up or down. Thicker lines are shown on the map for every 200 feet of elevation change, with intermediate thin lines shown every 40 feet. So the terrain is steeper in areas where the lines are closer together on the topo map because the elevation is changing more quickly in that area. On the other hand, terrain is more gentle where topo lines are farther apart. So just how steep is it? That's where the terrain slope layer can quickly help you see steep areas better than the topo lines alone. As indicated in the terrain slope key, Areas shaded yellow are moderately steep, but easily manageable. Red is downright steep, and you'll be digging in your toes to climb upward, or you'll be sliding on your butt a bit on the way down. Anything in the purple and blue range should really be avoided while you're hiking in the mountains. Peaks or knobs can be identified on the map as the elevation contour lines create concentric rings around the summit of the peak and the elevation continues to increase up to that summit. A basin is a larger bowl-shaped terrain feature where the lower elevations are typically gentle and fertile where the streams collect. Draws and ravines are smaller land features with similar characteristics, but they're a bit more narrow. A ridge, on the other hand, is a spine-like feature where the elevation is at a high point. Working along ridge lines as much as possible is often your best bet when navigating in steep terrain. So while they represent very different terrain, both basins and ridges appear as an irregular U or V shape on the topo maps. If the elevation lines in the mouth of the U or V are decreasing, then the feature is a basin. If the contour lines in the mouth of the U are increasing in elevation, then it's a ridge. So a saddle, also referred to as a pass, is a low point along a ridge line. Many animal paths and human trails and roads take advantage of a saddle to cross over a ridge. Why would you hike up to a higher point to traverse a ridge when you can just shoot across a saddle? A saddle can be identified on the map as two ridge lines come together at a low point. This is seen as the bends of a V or U-shaped topo lines from the two ridges approach each other. A bench is a flat area on an otherwise sloping or steep hillside. Animals such as elk like to bed and feed on gentle flat benches in steeper terrain. They also make for a great campsite while you're backpacking. So a bench is identified on the topo map as a flat area where there's spaced out topo lines in the midst of an upward sloping hillside where the surrounding topo lines indicate a bit of a steeper slope. So that's pretty much it, and now you can put it all together. If you toggle those terrain layers on top of the SAP base map, you can get an excellent understanding of the terrain and land cover in the area as well. Satellite imagery can reveal where it's grassy, forested, or rocky. 
The topo lines indicate peaks, ridges, saddles, and basins, and then the terrain slope can show you how steep certain areas are and can reveal where you should hike and where you should avoid. So that's all there is to it. Install the app, download an offline map area, then play around with the terrain layers in the Outlay app the next time you're out in the mountains. With some practice, you can quickly learn to identify these physical land features on the topo map. I'll see you out there.